In this video, we are going to learn how to analyze a performance max campaign data. How to know where it is focusing, which channel is working, which channel is not working. Let's find out how much conversions we have received from the shopping network. So, so to get that, go to reports, predefined report, then shopping, then shopping MCIT. Say even our performance map campaign is focusing very very less in dynamic remarketing as well. Hi guys, I'm Smruti from Solutions 8 and in this video we are going to learn how to analyze a performance max campaign data. How to know where it is focusing, which channel is working, which channel is not working. Okay. So in this account, we, uh, we are running a performance max campaign. This is our performance max campaign, performance max sol 8, okay. And uh, to analyze this data, I'm considering last 30 days. And here, as you can see, we have received around this much of impression and this much of conversion uh, from our performance max campaign, okay. So let me, copy the campaign name and note it down here and copy the total impression and total conversions okay so then let's find out how much conversions we have received from the shopping network so, so to get that go to reports predefined report then shopping then shopping mc id then our campaign okay so as you can see our performance max solid campaign is received 74.58 conversions from the shopping network in the last 30 days you can see almost all the conversions are coming from the shopping network you can say this this pms campaign is shopping heavy campaign okay if I get the rest minus this, okay. So we have 6.68 conversions, and you can say this may be coming from either DSA, uh, YouTube, Discovery, yeah, Display. So let's find out how much it is focusing on YouTube, okay. So go to your account. Okay, so to to know how much it is focusing on YouTube, add this column views. So as you can see, we have received only one seventy two views in the last thirty days. So this is kind of very less number of views and uh, Google does a very poor job tracking YouTube conversions. So we can negate YouTube. So now we have either DSA, Discovery, yeah, Display. So let's find out how much it is focusing on Display and Discovery Network. So to get that, go to again Reports then predefined reports, then others, then performance mass campaign placement. Okay. Just add your campaign. And filter out campaign. Okay. Yep. So this is our campaign. So now, as you can see, out of this huge number, out of this much of, uh, you know, uh, five, uh, 578k impression, only 3.8k impressions are received from discovery and display network, okay? And from this much of impression, discovery, you can see, you can say 
this is your discovery network google owned and operated and we have received uh, 1477 impressions from the discovery network from the last 30 days okay so these numbers are also very less so this campaign is uh, even not focusing much on discovery and display and uh, as you know the dynamic remarketing runs on display network so you can say even our performance mass campaign is focusing very very less in dynamic remarketing as well okay so now we have you know we, we can say this this much of uh, you know, conversion all the conversions we got from the dsa network search network okay even now even this campaign is now it, it this is this campaign is uh, focusing very less on dynamic remarketing you can see you can say all the conversion all the 74.52 conversions are coming from the shopping channel that is running in the search network like uh, you know you are getting uh, you know in in standard shopping you are getting uh, shopping um, conversion from the search network okay so all almost all the conversions convert almost all the conversions are coming from the shopping uh, and uh, you know shopping uh, search shopping network like standard shopping uh, you know working inside this performance mass campaign you can see uh, even if you want to cross verify this number you can go to here uh, you can go to landing page this is not a glitch I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, so you can, you know, you can filter your campaign, performance mass, and apply. Then add a filter, landing page, contain, doesn't contains products. because uh, from the shopping campaign uh, all the landing page would be products if i exclude landing page uh, product landing pages from the all landing page i can get uh, you know without shopping data so here you can see 68.68 conversions which is this much accurate so exactly this much of conversions we have received from the dsa network so as you can see uh, only uh, dsa and uh, standard shopping uh, network is working here so you can also you know as uh, this campaign is not focusing on dynamic dynamic remarketing so you can you can create a separate dynamic remarketing campaign for this and if you want you can even test youtube as well because you are we have received only 172 views so you can test further to test why uh, actually those channels are working or not okay so in this way in this way you can analyze your performance mass campaign data and know which channel is working which channel is uh, which channel it is focusing more which channel is not focusing okay so that's it for today i hope you like this video if you like this please thumbs up and if you have any question let me know inside the comment and please subscribe to this channel to watch this kind of valuable tutorial and thank you for watching and see you again bye bye
I want to teach you something that I learned yesterday that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, first, for proper citation, shout out to my buddy Calvin Corelli, CEO of Simplero. He's the one that taught me this. And um, I'm calling it the Holy Grail of Marketing Funnels, uh, which was uh, actually my friend Amanda Dobson's name after I told her. So a lot of kudos and props in this video.